all right all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us steven tonado appear former black stars capito steven appear former player for juventus and the rest yes fantastic player he has spoken about andre the day i use omission from the senior national team the ghana black stars squad what did steven appear had to say about the day i use omission from the black stars current squad that's going to fight for the 2026 fifa world cup qualifiers versus mali and versus central african republic now we will also look at alexander jiku <laughs> the ghana football association is explaining why alexander jiku and osman bukari is not part of the senior national team the ghana black stars camp as at now yesterday the black stars players trained 24 players trained Two players weren't present, and those two players are Osman Bukari and Alexander Jiku. Now, I do not agree with the reason the Ghana Football Association and Fenerbahce, Fenerbahce most importantly, is given to us that Alexander Jiku is injured. He said that he played in the final. Mami the person didn't play in the final. We are going to look at all of those details in this particular video, and then also we look at some other stories. Fantastic Ghanaian international has decided to switch nationality and play for a different country we are going to bring you all the fantastic details in this particular video on this channel sports 7 gh together with other news do well to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now let's start the issues and we are starting from Hmm. No Ghanaian boxer will represent Ghana at the at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Embassy. No Ghanaian boxer. <laughs> now, Ghanaian boxers know we've given them several opportunities to qualify to the Paris Olympic Games. None of them were able to qualify. None, 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 none was able to qualify. None. <laughs> now the thing is that the latest qualification rounds you know we send them to a certain country for them to try and qualify all the Ghanaian boxers have been knocked out <laughs> all the Ghanaian boxers are both male and females all the Ghanaian boxers have been knocked out so there will be no boxing representation at the Paris Olympic Games now it, lo it looks like the only representation Ghana will have at the Paris Olympic Games is the 4 by 100 meters relay team. The Ghana Athletics team. That is the only team that is going to qualify. Or that has qualified for the Paris Olympic Games and is going to represent Ghana there. So we will pray for them and hope that maybe they will get us some bronze and silver or gold. <laughs> yes. Now let's continue. Tonight, big Champions League final is coming on. Real Madrid, the... <laughs> Galacticos. They are facing uh, Dortmund, 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 Dortmund from Germany. The last time Champions League final was played in London, Wembley, as it's going to be played this evening, you know, it was an, a German team that won. So this evening, there, yeah, all of us, we didn't support German team. All of us, you are supporting German team, I'm supporting German team. So that is it. Now, the last time also that Dortmund won the UEFA Champions League was in 1997. Omar Bre, hey, 1997. There was a Ghanaian international who was part of it, part of it, and that was Ibrahim Tanku. That's what Ibrahim Tanku has to say about the upcoming UEFA Champions League final this evening at the Wembley Stadium in London. Memories I have of winning this cup are unforgettable. I hope this team get to experience that winning feeling together today because I tell I tell you now there is no better one. Good luck to players, staff, plus to all the fans bvb we can do it again so that is it the last time they won a champions league final ibrahim tanko Ghanaian player was part of it no Ghana, no uh sule mutari have won the final uh champions league before i think two players bro. Or, or who again and then and then the abed pele abed pele too has, he's won the champions league um before i think three players that have won i don't know if i'm forgetting one you can remind me is that not it yes yeah, so ibrahim tanko wishing bvb fans all the best going into the final this final there is a is win for dortmund simple they will defend very well and they will hate you on the counter adeyemi and then jaden sancho adeyemi on the left jaden sancho on the right fantastic wingers they will score real madrid whether you like it or not they will win the trophy for the second time john yeboah 
is a fantastic Ghanaian international. He has been selected for Ecuador's national team for the Copa America. That's coming on during this summer. So he's a Ghanaian international, John Yeboa. Yeboa, the Ecuador, they don't, they don't name any Yeboa there. It's Ghana that we name Yeboa. He's a fantastic Ghanaian international, just 23 years old. Ghanaian attacking midfielder, currently playing for Raku Sestotoa. Raku Sestotoa in the Polish League. This season he has played or, or he has featured in 30 appearances for them in the league. He has three goals and then five assists in the league. Um, he's doing very well. They play some Europa League qualifiers too. He played one game over there. Um, oh, and, and he scored one goal over there. So yes, um, John Yeboah has also neglected his country, parent country Ghana, and is deciding to play for um, <laughs> for Ecuador. It is normal. Right now, David Akologo, the last time he switched nationality to play for Bolivia, this time to John Yeboah, is switching nationality. Just as we've gotten Brandon Thomas Asante come switching nationality from England to come and play for Ghana, and then also gotten Tarek Lamte switching nationality to play for Ghana, it is normal for John Yeboah and the rest also to switch nationality and play for the countries they want. Now, the Ghana Football Association is telling us that the reason why alexander jiku is not at camp is because of an injury that he will need a day or two to be assessed by the fenabachi uh, medical team they are according to henry asante Chum, the communications director of the ghana football association gfa the fenabachi medical team has communicated with the black stars medical staff to monitor jiku's recovery before releasing him this is what Alex, um, Henry Asante Chum said. Alexander Jiku is yet to join the Blasters camp due to an injury he picked in their final game. The team doctors got in touch with the club and they communicated that they would want to observe him for a day or two before he joins the Blasters camp. It is not true. Alexander Jiku didn't play their final game. Anybody watching me right now can check. Fenerbahce final game in the league was Bu Intam Istanbul Bus Istanbul Busaspor or something like that. They scored them 6 0. Alexander Jiku didn't play the game. He wasn't in the game. He wasn't on the bench. The reason was that before that game, they played versus Galatasaray. Fenerbahce won 1 0. But then. Alexander Jiku got a red card in the 21st minute. He got a red card. Not because of injury. He got a red card in the 21st minute. That's, that was the reason why he couldn't play the last game. So how can you tell us that he's injured? <laughs> how can you tell us that he's injured and you are monitoring? You see, the reason why sometimes I'm very, very serious with these things is that the teams know when it is time for them to release their players for their national teams, they'll be doing like a Dasika things. Like a Dasika. If the player got injured at training grounds, come and tell us. But don't tell us that in the, fi the final game, Alexander Jiku didn't play. So he cannot get injured in that game. That he did. The game he didn't play, how can he get injured? Osman Bukhari is also not at camp. The reason the Ghana Football Association has given is that he went to sign for his new club, Austin FC, in the United States of America. So he has to do one or two things, medicals, the rest, you know. So that's the reason why he's delaying to come to the Blasters camp. But then Osman Bukhari um, and Alexander Jiku likely to maybe arrive today or tomorrow. Even maybe Jiku will arrive tomorrow, but Osman Bukhari likely to arrive today um, at the senior national team, the Ghana Blasters camp. Don't forget that yesterday they had a fantastic training. Uh, Brandon Thomas Asante um, had a fantastic training session with the senior national team the first time. He scored a lot of goals during the training session. We've posted the videos and everything for you, a lot of them, on this channel, Sports 7GH. So you can go through the videos and watch. Brandon Thomas Asante, new Ghanaian striker. He's going to score goals for Ghana. Mark Destin, he's going to score goals for Ghana. Ghanaian striker from West Bromwich Albion scored 12 goals for West Bromwich Albion in the league this season. Or in all competitions. It's not easy at all. He's doing very, very well for himself. Steven Apia. This is what he had to say about Andre Dede Ayu's omission from the Blaster squad. In my experience watching the AFCON, for instance, Mas Gradel, 37, was around for um, around for the Ivory Coast team. He played and made a difference. At times, when we talk about the future, we have to know the kind of player we are dealing with. If somebody is 38 to 40 and is still delivering, why not? Ryan Giggs was 41 but played better than those in the 25. And is still delivering. Is the day are you still delivering for the Black Stars? Not for Le Havre. Not for, for the blasters, is the day you still delivering in the last three of a uh, tournament? The day you shambolic 
missed the uh, penalty in the World Cup versus Uruguay. He wants to commit penalty versus Comoros last game. Versus, um, 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 he got a record in that game last game 2019 versus Comoros. And then in the last game versus Mozambique, he went to commit penalty for Mozambique to draw the game to, to Ghana. They didn't qualify to the next round. Is that are you still performing for Ghana like Mas Gradel? The answer is to you. I don't know. Because if I go and see right now, people will come and say that I am happy that the you is not the NDA. I'm not happy. We shouldn't look at the you who is coming to play 30 minutes or 45 minutes. He can be around the team. I think he still has a part to play in the team. Even if it's not on the page, off the page, the you can still come. These are the words of Steven Appiah. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section of this video. Like the video, hit the notification bell, and select. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.